Morning, my good friends. For those who don't know me yet, I'm Guy Lerando. I'm the author of The Science of Getting Love by Yourself and Others, available on Amazon Kindle. Today's subject is still on the Cruising, cruising 101 series. We have to know how do the animals tame themselves? Two things. Invitation to play, sharing food or coffee. See? Meet somebody, you ask. See? Ah, oh, please me. I'd like to have a coffee with you. Or we should have lunch together like they do in business and talk about business. But Invitation to play, sharing food. Same thing in business, same thing when you're inviting people over. The fact is, if you want to have more party, more people in your party than somebody else there, you make it more fun than the other people's party. So they're gonna call and say, I can't go, and then they'll come in your party. You see, the fact is, how do you cultivate all love is to aim. What's your target? What do you love? What is your desire? Aim for your desire. You see, you're at the center, everything that surrounds you, like I explained to you. What are you aiming for? See, this is the most important thing. I used to coach a hockey team, which I made with monoparental kids with so social effective problem that nobody else wanted to coach. So what I did, Invitation to play, sharing food. You know, I went into the room and I said, well, now we're gonna talk about measures of us, <coughs> of discipline. I said, ain't gonna be any, because I got more experience than you to be naughty. So let's start with that. So now, what I did is I gave them good vectors of orientation and showed them that they can win together. And what happened is the parents, when I used to call them to have the hours of practice or whatever, they said, why are you calling us? You just have to go to Woodward Park. They're all playing together. I don't, I don't know what you did to them because they love playing hockey. Well, I taught them to share food together. You see, my daughter was making chocolate cho chocolate chip cookies and put them, muffin and put them in the oven at night. And when we would wake up in the morning, they'd be hot and ready. So we brought, was bringing uh, milk and those muffins. So what do you, happen, what do you think happened with those kids? They started to say, hey, let's come there. You know, there's going to be good chocolate muffin cookies, you know, uh, ch chocolate chip muffins. You see, stomach, invitation, sharing food, and invitation to play. Never take things seriously. I was showing them how they could win together with each other. And this is the secret. Invitation to play sharing food. Let's play together. Let's have fun together. And <clears throat> what's the target? You see, I was teaching them how to play hockey, so I said, get down on the toilet bowl. And then you're going to have a good push for lateral move and get speed. And if somebody's making obstruction to you, you sit on the toilet bowl. And then you can come turn, but he's standing up, he can't. You see, those all tricks. He said, why do your favorite team always shoot over the net? Well, the last place that your eye goes, aims at, is where it goes. So if you, you don't have a leg behind to, to hold back your swing, where are you gonna look? Over the net. Other things, I said the other team showed you to practice shooting on the goalie. I said, I never want you to do that ever again. You say, why coach? I said, because 
if you want to score a goal, the only way you're going to be able to score a goal is to be bad enough to miss the goalie. You see, what are you aiming at? If you aim at what you don't like, this is where you're going. And if you don't believe me, go on the country road and stare at the ditch. And then after about five minutes or less maybe, you're going to have all the time in the world to think about the veracity of what I told you about what you aim at is where you're going while you're waiting for the tow truck. <laughs> so amuse and amaze is way, which going to be the dynamic of the mastermind. This is just introduction, seven days introductions. I'm going to tell you a little bit what's happening. You see, I, I made that thing for the kids. I said, <clears throat> your blade there is, you look at the center line, and I said, you bend your back leg, what happens to your hockey stick? It bends. So now you look at target number one, two, three, four, and then your leg places the hockey in a fashion that it's exactly where the puck is going to lift for the height. So you stare at the line, and then you stare at each line and bending your back leg so that your hockey stick will bend to the right height. These are little techniques, but I showed the kids that they could be winners. This is exactly the same dynamic. See, when we're gonna have the real mastermind, it's gonna be an hour each. And then we're gonna invitation to play. So that's why I said, morning coffee with Guy. Okay, we're gonna have a coffee together. And talk about you. The new that you have not been introduced to yet. So this is why the dynamic is what I'm aiming for. Is to get a great team. Amuse and amaze. Invitation to play together. To play games. That's going to make you to win. Bring you to win. And also teach you where to aim. What you love. You don't know yet. 99% uh, of the population don't even know what they love because they've been dictated to, to do this or this, that, to win a living at minimum wage. You don't have to do that. You have to be useful, but you don't have to serve. You see, being useful is like the specialist, which is good at what he does. And he loves doing it, so it's always beautiful. I invite you to join the team and learn together, amuse and amaze ourselves together. The amazement is you. And I'm going to get deeper in the subject. Why are you a subject of admiration for yourself? Because you see, when the people disapprove you and disapprove you again, and then you do the same thing because you have a psychological inversion that puts you to do always the same wrong thing again, because that becomes like disorder so that's why you always do the the same thing again that uh, you promise yourself not to do we'll fix that for you in an amusing way that's going to make you love yourself better every day so i'll see you tomorrow for the next introduction love you all as you are <laughs>